All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Arkakudash, and double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone, and a sincere Shalom to Yahweh and bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. And although in this uh, lesson will be entitled, Do You Believe, man? Do You Believe? And because we understand that, <clears throat> being that we're in the time of Acts, you know, and what was happening back in the times of Acts, you know, many miracles, man. Uh, the faith of, of many men and women a eh, was being sealed uh, in the time of Acts, and we understand the Scripture tells us that eh, there's nothing new under the sun, man. And with it being nothing new under the sun, a eh, with these miracles, as Yahweh Shai said, and I'm reading out the book of John 14. Now I'm gonna read it. This is John 14, and um, I'm gonna start here at uh, 10. It says, "Believe is thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me." The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, He doeth the works, right? Because the power doesn't, you know, rely, uh, doesn't dwell within us if you don't have Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Because they're the sources. So as long as the the the, the sources within you, hey, for example, when you watch, um, you know, your your Marvel and DC um movies, man. For example, the 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 Green Lantern, right? The Green Lantern. Uh, what's spiritual about that movie is the fact that um, the Green Lantern, you know, they they get their power from from willpower, you know, that's their source of their uh, their source of their energy, so to speak, right? And every lantern in that that basically world or galaxy has a specific um, origin of their source of power. So they, with the Green Lantern being that will or willpower, a they go to charge up um, in a particular place, but they have to believe. That they uh, have the ability to, to withhold and have the power of will. You know, that's where they get their strength from. And our strength comes from what? Bringing it back into the spiritual sense. Hey, when we go into the book of Hebrews 11, matter of fact, I'm going to read it. I'm going to come here. It's Hebrews 11. And I'll start here at um, the top. And then I'll jump down. It says, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now, when we go into the sixth verse, it tells us, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So I'm reading in NLT. It says, and it is impossible to please the most high without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists, that Yahweh exists, that he is, and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. Right, so faith is going to be the fuel of us performing these miracles, man. Lord willing, we, we get the power and are able to, you know, to perform them, man. You know, because, hey, every man, may, every man isn't going to get the power, man. But we understand without faith, it is impossible to please him. Faith is the fuel to, to bring forth these miracles, you know. Now, to go back to that in, uh, in John 14. It says 11, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. So I'm going to read again. It says, verily, verily, I say unto you that he that believeth on me, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking, the works that I do, shall he do also. And we understand Yahweh Shai did great works. Hey, the scriptures talk about the woman that touched the hem of Yahweh Shai's garment was healed. That's just them, them touching his garment, man. And the scripture says he felt the virtue leave him, you know. But it says the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do. Understand that what? Hey, back in the ancient days, the works that they seen was great in themselves. But understand that we're in a... Um, you know, Yahweh Shem Yahshua going to advance the, the, the miracles for the times being, you know. It says, um, and greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my father. So you got to believe that, man. So I want to grab another precept, right? This is um, going into the book of Acts 9, right? It's Acts, the ninth chapter, and I'll start the 32nd verse. It says, and it came to pass as Peter passed throughout all quarters, he came down also. And this is um right, this is the uh, account right before um it speaks of Apostle Paul 
you know, being blinded for those three days and Yahweh Shai uh, speaking to him in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why, pers why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kiss, kick against the pricks, you know? It says, and it came to pass as Peter passed throughout all quarters, he came down also to the saints which dwelt at Lydia. And there he found a certain man named uh, Aeneas, <clears throat> which had kept his bed eight years and was sick of palsy. Now, when we go into that word palsy, <clears throat> it reads uh, G38 in yeah, G3886 it says palsy to weaken to enfeeble suffering from the relaxing of the nerves <laughs> and meaning he was lame tottering weakened feeble knees paralyzed so this this is what that man was going through and he was paralyzed man but we're going to read what the scriptures say uh, the power that, that, that came and the miracles that came from Apostle Peter, you know, because he believed in Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. It says, And Peter said unto Aeneas, Yahweh Shai make it thee whole, arise and make thy bed. And he arose immediately. So he was healed instantly. You know, he didn't have to go under the knife. You know, it wasn't no, um, no uh, complications with this miracle. You know, it was pure healing, man pure power it says and all that dwelt at lydia and saran saw him and turned to the lord so a, a city of people right there however many people it was that was converted believed at that moment man showing you the power of yahweh bashim yahweh shai continuing 36 now there was a there was at joppa a certain disciple named tabitha which by interpretation is called darkest this woman was full of good works and alms deed which she did and so she was she was a good woman according to the scriptures man and she, she more than likely helped out, you know, uh, men the Lord, you know, and, and uh, the ways uh, that, that benefited the body, you know. <clears throat> it says, and it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died, whom when they had washed, they laid her up in an upper chamber. And for as much as Lydia was nigh to Joppa and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent unto him two men desiring him that he would not delay to come to them. Then Peter arose and went with them. And when he was come, they brought him into the upper chamber. And all the widows stood by him weeping and showing him coats and garments which Dorcas made. Right. So she was more than likely making those garments or, uh, or um, coats, you know, for, for Akim, you know, for men of the Lord. It says which Dorcas made while she was with them. It says, but Peter put them all forth and kneeled down and prayed and turning him to the body said, Tabitha arise. And she opened her eyes. So this woman that, 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 hey, died, man. You know, Apostle Peter was right there, turned to her, prayed unto Yahweh Shai, and she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. This, this is, this happened, man. You know, we, we fully believe in the scriptures and we don't need the miracles, you know, or the, as we always say, we don't need to see the chariots to understand that they're there. You know, we don't need, we don't need to, uh, to, uh, see the miracles and for example when we go into the account of um uh, i believe uh, salakia let me think of his name really quick thomas a call on shai thomas he physically needed to see a the 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 the, the, the hands of yahweh shai to know that it was him and yahweh shai said what uh better or blessed those that have not seen yet still believe and we don't need to physically see it to still have our faith but understanding that in seeing the miracles and seeing the chariots, it does increase the faith, man. But nevertheless, man, <clears throat> it says, and he gave her his hand and lifted her up. And when he had called the saints and widows, presented her alive. So this was a woman that was passed. And through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai, what? She was awakened. And her spirit was put back into her body. And we understand that even at the crucifixion of Yahweh Shai, a men came out of their graves. <laughs> this this is this isn't a joke, man. This is this is the power of the Lord that we're dealing with. So the lesson is entitled, "Do ye believe, man?" Because we're going to see some things. Hey, as as Yahweh Shem Yahshai increases the wickedness, and hey, well, He's also going to increase the men of the Lord. So we're going to see some miracles, man. That's that's one thing in particular. I, I honestly can't can't wait for it, man. To to see Yahweh Shem Yahshai and the power. Because we already understand it's coming, man. It's no doubt in, it's no doubt in our minds. 
that we're going to be witnesses unto this. You know? So Yahweh Shemiah is going to continue to manifest greatness, man. And manifest his power unto his men. Because, hey, he, this is the time in which, you know, the elect are being sealed. And people, as back in the book of Acts, scripture saying 3,000 were, were converted. 10,000 believed here, you know, off of, off of the work of one miracle. And this is the time we're coming back into, man. So it's, it's beautiful times. Although we understand more and more hell is going to happen. Hey, well, it's going to be also a uh, beauty within the faith, man. You know, Yahweh Shemuel Shah is going to increase us. We just have to continuously hey, uh, work, man. Continuously work and believe. You know, so that's just a lesson through the spirit. Um, Lord willing, it was edifying unto the body. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, by Shemar Kakodash. A double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And a sincere shalom to Yaki and bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. Shalom.